guys. So I am getting closer to having to write down uh, some sort of psalm as the sort of almost challenge that I have set myself through these seven weeks to to say, uh, to, to write out my own uh, psalm that is uh, not uh, saying anything about quality, uh, but perhaps you will join with me and try at some point during your weeks uh, to write these different um, flavours of psalms, these different ways of approaching God. Uh, for a psalm of, of praise uh, this week, and um, and going on, they might get more challenging or less challenging, depending upon um, your particular bent or the particular experience of your life at that moment. Um, you might have great lamentations uh, to give uh, as we as we go through. So let's get into our psalm uh, for today and then we can uh, we can think about that and we can pray together. Psalm 145 from the New Revised Standard Version. I will extol you my God and King and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall lord your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts on the glorious splendour of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your work shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithfulness shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all your people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of all who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. Perhaps it's just me who feels like bursting into song every so often, every couple of verses that we get through, because they're so rich uh, and they're so richly used within hymnody. Like we've, we've lifted parts of psalms and put them uh, into worship songs or you know, uh, traditional hymns, like we know uh, bits of these um, scriptures and that's wonderful. I, I do really find it helpful when we can sing our scripture because it, it, it definitely takes a special place in our hearts, but even more special when we can put that within the context of, of where it is biblically. And so, you know, again, uh, we have another psalm that just lists upon list of the things that God does for us. It's about, and when we, we talked earlier this week about orientation, when you think about like what your life is built on, the, the firm facts, the things that you take as granted in all times, 
if they are the wrong things, then everything is skewed. And I mean, that's where we'll see the reorientation uh, comes in, in some respects, the Psalms. Um, but here we, we're getting fed those things that you build your life upon, these blocks that we then go, this is where we start from. And it, it's it's tragic when we can't start from a place of God is love, God is forgiving, God is just, God is slow to anger and abiding in love. You know, God is, and instead uh, we come with lots of different um, preconceived ideas. Um, it's it's fundamentals these. It's like, do you understand the very rudiments of your faith? This is the picture of who God is. And one of the reasons I think I, I again encourage you that you could write your own at Psalm is because when we put this into our own vernacular, when we say these words exactly the way that we feel is right, they become ever more a part of our heart. Yeah, I encourage people, and if you've ever been in a small group with me in person, then I will always encourage us to pray out loud for the person usually next to us so that we know roughly what they want and we know what's needed to be said. But practicing uh, praying out loud, because as you speak out loud, you, you're like, you're reaffirming things, you know, so when you're praying out loud, you know, you're saying, uh, thank you, God, you love us all. That's just making another connection in your head. Yes, you're loved. Yes, you know, God is faithful. Yes, God forgives me. And it's not just intellectual. You, the act of like speaking it embodies it. You make it into something that you're participating in. Um, so, you know, that's another encouragement, another gentle encouragement, gentle nod and uh, poor prod, sorry, to uh, to write maybe some of this down or to speak this out. Because um, as much as I'm grateful that you come and listen to me and that you pray with me at the end, it, if you have that moment where you can you can add your own prayer, you can you can make space to say things I really do find that that is invaluable and transformative. Uh, so don't leave them with uh, psalms of praise that are just somebody else's. Make them your own. Let's have a word of prayer. God, we pray that as we work through these psalms, that we would not just read the words or hear the words and and move on, but that we would take these words within us, that we would absorb them, that where this example, the example of the psalmists can become our practice, so we can develop our ability to offer praise or to offer lament, to look at you God and to look at the world and to put our feelings and thoughts about that into, into words. Lord, we pray that you can help transform that within us and grow that for our lives. May we not just be um, happy with the words of others, but may we seek um, the beauty within ourselves that you have given each and every one of us so that we can offer in our personal prayers or in, in, other, in other areas of our lives, words that you have put within our hearts, that we can be psalmists too, in whatever way that that works in our lives. But may you bless it, God. May you develop it within us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.